Good evening, Com TV viewers. Hoi ka hoi, Com TV ka endra kip chunga kana ni ni zat ni pung ka Com ni pui ra kip Com TV ka hanga kien ka jana salam ka hi pek chui. Tuning ka ni ko hi ay ni siga Com TV siga wang ka chata ke ni kara angkur das inti tuna chunga civil service examination na 50 second ring all in the ring na 50 second. Ama hi general la IAC confirm ka sang yo. Ana apa hi assistant commissioner la retire la ka sang last yang kum kum ni makan. Ana tuning ka ni ko hin. Ay ni ka ko mi hai student hai civil service aspirant hai. An mani matok na si ka. An mani an mani an preparation na. Hai kong in mo civil service hi an big tesik tiya ra kan. Hi wei program hi ahen tu kacanga ni so puya hi tu tak hin an mani kacin hi rai an tu nka tamir acang inom kom TV le ni za lung set na an mani inom fa bong kat an tahi nai chung hin an chung an pa kai pong thank you so much angkul and my sir HK das sir and today we are fortunate to have Mr angkul das all India ring fifty two in the recently declare civil service examination 2021 it is indeed a delightful moment to have him in our midst in this home tv interaction program angkur das is the pride of meghalaya every high dignitaries and everyone the whole state is proud of him and we are so fortunate angkur and to my you to your father also i want to extend my gratitude because i know you are very busy and yesterday even you have you were having headache and because you don't eat properly it's all i understand that everyone is happy and we are also very much happy and in spite of all your busy schedule just now 10 minutes before our minister has visited you and right after that you gave us this time and this is a very very uh privilege and we are so fortunate to have and i believe that this discussion is for especially to our community and all the com tv viewers so that they will benefit and especially the uh, the civil service aspirant through your experience i believe that uh, you start with a humble background and there are so many interviews has been uh, done many of them might have uh, listened to you but i think this will be especially to my community the com community where they can learn something from you and uh, with this i want to say thank you Ankur. and uh, sir will join sir sk das sir your father will join us after some time and i want to say thank you and it will be just an interactive session. Please feel free. And uh, we just wanted to you to share your experience so that our students they can uh, get something from you and they will they are an inspiration because going through your interview in the some of the media, it has been an inspiring. So I believe that it will be a blessing and it will be an encouraging for all of you. Now I would like to give our my our the time to mr stoney the com tv producer to have some question for you good Please. evening everyone uh once again welcome mr angkur das congratulations and i on behalf of the com, com tv once again congratulate you and we are very fortunate that you are here physically though it is a video online video conferencing this is what we are doing in today's COVID time so we are very fortunate you are here and then we have so many questions so many students are asking so many questions but we will make it more interactive and before we start I would like to uh, say one one thing that our com TV will present you com TV t-shirt for your family for you for your father and for your mother and whoever's present in your home and this will be uh, sending from Delhi very soon maybe uh, coming this week so please do accept our small gift 
that's all before we start I would like to say uh, a few words now <clears throat> we want to ask you so many questions but first of all we want to know uh, something about you so will you please tell us something about you all right uh, I'm sorry it's pretty late at night but um, uh, okay, very warm uh, hello to everyone who's watching it from all across the country uh, <clears throat> yeah, it indeed uh, is a great feeling, and uh, thank you so much um, for your generous words of introduction. Uh, so, I uh, belong to Meghalaya. I belong to Shillong, and uh, I did my uh, schooling from St. Edmund's School here. And uh, thereafter, I went to um, Amity University in Noida, and uh, I did my BTEC in uh, Biotechnology from there. And I graduated in 2017, and uh, since then uh, I have given uh, full time to uh, this UPSC preparation. So yes, uh, it has been uh, five years, uh, five arduous years, but um, um, I'm delighted at uh, the results. Uh, it indeed is uh, a great feeling, and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> and the next question is. Why do you choose civil service and who inspire you to become an IAS officer? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. So, uh, growing up, I always wanted to uh, join the civil services and uh, a very big part in this uh, was definitely my father. Uh, he retired uh, as assistant commissioner of Central GST and Customs. And uh, while growing up, uh, I used to hear stories from him. Uh, about you know what happens behind the scenes, and I uh, also had the privilege of interacting with some uh, serving officers then, and uh, that's when I realized uh, that probably this is something I would want to do later in life. And of course, since uh, you know uh, after you know I after passing school and during my graduation, once I got to know more about uh, civil service exam and how it is done. I was um, motivated to give this a good shot. So, yes. Thank you so much. Atunani Thaika Ankur Dasi, a school he Shilongan for Etoke, Kavasule Amiti University, Noida, Uttar Uttar Pradesh, Delhi border, Hivahin Aman, Bitek Atoke, Kavakan, Hiva UPSC Civil Service, I told him, Nayari Apanum inspire a totika, Tunakan, a Rio. The next question is, uh, how many years it took you to clear UPSC civil service? How many years it took you to clear civil UPSC civil service? Uh, there is a lost connection. Uh, he will be coming back again. Lungset taka aini viewer hai. Lenghak hiri. Megalai hi network hi aumori ke. So he will be coming in a few minutes this is what happened in this uh, internet world so he is coming back yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's okay it happens sorry so so the question was how many years it took you to clear this UPSC civil service so uh, I give five attempts um, this is my fifth attempt and um, I started my preparation in 2017 and so um, 22, 21 in fact the exams were in 21 so yes it took me 4 whole years okay. um, to clear this attempt oh thank you so much so uh, how many times have you cleared prelims so far so I could not clear the first uh, prelims I gave in 2017 and then after 18, 19, uh, 20 and 21, I was fortunate enough to clear prelims, but I could not clear mains. Okay. And, uh, this year I could uh, fortunately get through. That means you have cleared uh, three times prelims and you could not clear mains. And at four times prelims and you clear mains and you are through this year, right? That's very good. So, um, what are the challenges you are facing during uh, preparing for UPSC examination the challenges you face during 
your preparation for UPSC uh, examination? Yeah, so I think the first uh, challenge that any serious aspirant faces in this preparation phase is not, uh, you know, the knowledge or the books or anything that is available. You go to any market in Delhi or even now these online, you can get all the books and all the resources you want. Uh, the first biggest hurdle one faces is the mind, because um, of course there are um, you know very brilliant candidates who cleared it in first or second attempt, but for most of us, it requires quite a few years, and to uh, keep yourself motivated mm -hmm. uh, for these or very difficult and uh, you know mentally exhausting yeah that is the biggest challenge you face okay and what else another any other challenges you are facing right so yeah um, apart from the psychological part of course uh, most of us um, you know at least uh, i am from a science background so the humanities uh, portions, and it is quite a big portion of the civil service because especially technical parts like economics. So that personally uh, was a challenge for me. Okay. Um, that was the number one. And number two, uh, again, since we are from science background and I was a BTEC uh, student, um, you know, writing long answers was, uh, we did not usually do that. In okay. Something which um, humanities is there. Okay. Thank you so much. And today, I will not repeat it again. Atuna atay rika, amay science background at sangyarakan arts paper, general study history hay economics hay atay nakan pagkal ati. Katam lang sabto ni mga pagke. I will not make it explain it again. So let's go to the next question. The question is. In our community, especially with the uh, Com tribe, uh, like we said, as per 2011 census, we are only 14,500 something. And today, if I'm not wrong, we the Com have only one IAS officer. Today we invite him, but uh, he had a busy schedule, so he could not come right now. And <clears throat> we have IPS officer, one IPS, and then. But it's been more than eight years now, eight years gap nobody has clear prelims so so many students who wants to uh, prepare for civil service they don't know how to do so today we want to ask you Ankur will you please tell us slowly step by step okay how a beginner how a beginner like who suppose you just take me I am as a fresh graduate this year how will I start preparing if I want to become a civil servant, if I want to become IAS, IPS or any uh, civil service job, if I want to become a civil servant, how can I start preparing this civil service exam? So will you please tell us step by step how to prepare civil service examination, especially for beginners. Thank you. Thank you. That is a very interesting question. So uh, I will start right from the basics uh, for the benefit of our young viewers. Okay. So the Union Public Service Commission um, is uh, one of our constitutional bodies, which is it is mentioned in the constitution. Many other bodies are not. The right. Union Public Service Commission is there. So the UPSC is, uh, is tasked by the constitution to select uh, Group A officers for the government of India and uh, of course all india services as well so, uh, so the all india service officers and the central civil service officers they run the uh, senior management of the state governments and the government of india and apart from uh, the ias and the ips which many of us know there are many other services uh, for example people might be knowing about the indian foreign service uh, the indian revenue service the notice and account service. So I think if I'm not wrong, around 16 to 17 services are there. And they deal with every department under the sun. So everything uh, we go forward in life with, uh, probably there is a civil servant who is managing it somewhere, sitting somewhere there and he's managing it. 
So this exam is conducted by the UPSC and uh, it has three stages. Uh, first is the preliminary stage, and second is the means uh, stage, as we call it, and third is of course the interview. So every stage has different requirements. Uh, for the preliminary stage, uh, it is a multiple choice question format. Uh, so there are two uh, papers in the preliminary stage. First paper is the general studies paper. So there are 100 questions and uh, you have to attempt them and uh, there is a cutoff uh, which changes every year but uh, you need to comfortably clear the cutoff. And uh, apart from that there is another thing called paper 2 which is uh, called the civil services aptitude test. Mm -hmm. I'm sure many of the viewers will be acquainted with aptitude, with mathematical aptitude and also reading and comprehension. So that paper um, you just need to qualify, your marks are not counted. So your marks are only counted from the preliminary paper one and once you clear that paper you go to the main stage the main stage again uh, there are nine uh, papers uh, so and all of them are descriptive papers so there is one english paper and uh, one indian language paper so i think uh, there are certain communities which are exempt from that so that would probably make it eight papers for them mm -hmm. uh, but um, the language papers are there, two or one language paper, and then there are four general studies papers. Mm -hmm. There's one essay paper, and there are two optional papers. So optional uh, is one, uh, you know, a subject, there's a list of subjects, and you can choose one subject from the optional list, and you have to give two papers. So that can be a graduation subject. Many people choose a subject which is not uh, as the same as the graduation. So that said, um, you know, these uh, out of these papers, the language papers are not counted for the merit. So out of the nine or eight papers, only seven papers, essay, four general studies and two options, they are counted. And once you get the required cutoff for uh, mains, then you go to the interview stage. In the interview stage, it happens in uh, Delhi, the UPSC building in Delhi, the Wulpur House, as it's called. And it's a very beautiful building and it's a privilege to be going inside it. And where you have to face an interview panel of around four or five members are there. And uh, once you uh, give that, your marks in the mains examination and your interview marks are totaled. And based on that, a rank list is made. So, uh, you know, there are different categories. So, say around 40-50% uh, is the general and uh, after that there are certain reservations. So, according to those uh, categories, you know, the top whatever required number is there from that um, merit list that they have prepared these um, candidates are declared qualified mm -hmm. and uh, amongst them uh, you know certain uh, people candidates who rank higher they uh, get their choice and mostly it is highest that most people choose so yes yeah, this is a broad outline of the process thank you so much thank you so much that's very well explained and uh, here we uh, we want to ask you again, Ankur. Uh, we are not so sure, but uh, we have heard that those who could not clear C set, that is paper two. Their paper one is not checked. They say, is it right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. That you means have to clear the C set. Yeah, C set mm. means that uh, common uh, common aptitude test. That is, uh, if they could not clear it, their paper one is not checked. Right. So it, the mark is not counted, but that is very much mandatory, right? Definitely. Thank you so much. Because sometimes uh, the student uh, might take easily, but then this is very much uh, uh, very important. Very important. Yeah, very important. Even if you are very good at general studies, if you do not clear that, the paper only will not be checked. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that's, that's true. Um, thank you so much, Ankur. And, uh, <clears throat> We have a few more questions. Very, very much interesting questions are coming up. Uh, today, we really need you because you have come across so many attempts. And then finally, God has given you to be, become an IAS official now. And before I ask you that questions, uh, let me just put a small uh, advertise. If any comb tried if you meet any comb tribe in your office, please ask them to have a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely. It would be a, it because would be a it is, pleasure. We are very, yeah, we are very small in number. So if you yes. happen to meet any comb 
boy or girl, just call them to have a tea. Okay? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, you're most welcome. Uh, I don't know where I'll be posted, but uh, if you are in the same place as I am, you can please, um, you know, please come and meet me. I would be a very big pleasure for me to have. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now let's go to the question. Uh, Ankur, uh, we have a couple of students. Uh, if I'm not wrong, we have around 10 students, maybe 10 or 15 students who are very serious. They have been given this UPSC for five times. They have attempt uh, three times, four times, but they cannot clear prelims. So will you please suggest them how they should change their studies or how they should uh, do to clear the prelims? All right. So uh, firstly, it is great to know that there are uh, serious uh, aspirants in the community. And uh, with regards to clearing prelims, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, prelims is not just a test of knowledge. It is also a test of strategy. And um, the, the kind of questions uh, they're being asked now, you need to be uh, good at, you know, something we call as logical guessing. So because it, it is not possible for you to know all hundred questions. There is, there is no one in the entire country who knows that. But it is possible to logically eliminate certain options in the prelims since it is an MCQ paper. Mm. It is possible to logically eliminate them and uh, once your knowledge base is created, I think that the skills, these elimination skills need to be really worked on because uh, given the difficulty level of the paper now. Okay. Thank you so much. And one more question. Um, see, uh, what happened is like, uh, it happens to every experience, okay? Especially in my community. Uh, tomorrow, this coming Sunday, 5th June is the prel uh, prelims exam, right? Most of the student, 90% in my community, they, all, they always say to me, ah, oh, we cannot sleep. We cannot sleep. And some of them, they don't sleep and they go for exam. And then, you know, they have lots of pressure, mental pressure. So how are, how are they going to control this? How are they going to uh, face uh, this kind of uh, problems? Will you please suggest them how they have to face these challenges so that they can do best on the examination day? Uh, firstly, to everyone who's giving a uh, film on Sunday, uh, my best wishes, uh, my heartiest best wishes. And secondly, it is very natural. Uh, we all know what it, uh, how it feels to be there before prelims. Your anxiety is peaking, and um, even if you have revised it hundred times, you always feel there is a hundred and first revision left to be done. Uh, so that is there. But like I said, uh, there is only so much you can do. Now you must have prepared for one year, two year before that, and in the next three, four days, since it is, I think, on the fifth. In the next three days, you will not add anything valuable to your knowledge base. It is simply not possible. We are human beings. Mm -hmm. So it is very essential that you calm yourself down. Although your body will tell you otherwise, your mind will tell you otherwise, you have to listen to what your body needs. And you have to calm yourself down so that when you uh, write, when you solve the paper in the examination hall, your thinking is very clear. Because with a tired mind comes a very, uh, uh, you know, fog muddled uh, thinking and that is uh, you know suicide in prelims that's 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 very precious that's a very precious uh, what is a suggestion or advice especially for the uh, aspirants even now the students who are just thinking i want to give the exam they they don't experience this but those who are very serious they and already experienced but today you have already put this very important comment let me speak in my dialect. Aini ka kom lekha katay hai UPSC civil prelims ka peksi hai. Exam ya jing se jan tun jani ye thay lo chukye. So it's it's a humble request. Atuna Ankur Das tarika. Don't think ati kya. Three days hichu. Don't think that whether you revise well or not hichu mind katra ta na taksa ka race na malo katra na tositi ka ahi pe uma. Thank you so much and one more. Uh, uh, is your father arrived, Ankuji? No, I have one, one, uh, one. Uh, yeah, I, it's okay. Yeah, wait, I, 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 I think, yeah, we can just have one. Have one, one wait, 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 hello, hold on, hold on. Ankur, just, yeah. uh, I, I yeah, have one question for you. I just wanted to know, uh, what is your advice for uh, 
the civil service aspirant regarding choosing of a subject hmm. Ops- mm. what uh, is your advice for them is it for optional optional yes yeah yes. we have to be very specific <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So your optional uh, marks, um, you know, they play a very big role because uh, in the other uh, five papers, general papers, everyone is writing the same answers. So you uh, you don't really have a chance to stand out because you know there will be people um, who write very good answers. There will be someone you know who's actually worked in the development sector and he's writing an answer on development. and it is probably you know not possible to beat his knowledge because he, he has it from the ground so the uh, the only uh, at least in my opinion the only way you can actually shine is in your optional subject from for everyone and uh, mm-hmm. if you are good with your optional subject you have a very big edge of the uh, people so it is very essential that you choose a subject which is a um, it is easy for you that interesting and easy for you and b uh, material is available because if you choose something which uh, you like but there is no material available then that becomes a problem because you have less time so you need to have very good and concise material hmm. okay one more one more last question uh what quality of a person is required to become a civil servant because definitely everyone cannot become a civil servant what do you think it's a it's a saying no they say no ye to this is a civil service ye to ias ka matter hai matlab he had that uh, quality of to become an ias definitely today you have that ias ka that matter is with you so you become an ias so i believe that civil service if you see the success rate of a student i think uh, civil service is one of the the success rate is the least the applicant so many students yeah. everyone aspire to become a civil servant but the success rate is very less that's why people everyone it's like a marathon race when only the the one the toughest the toughest win and uh, when i listen to your uh, the previous what you tell us what motivate you motivate yourself and everything so it's really an inspiring so last word is that what quality needs to be come as civil servant oh, <laughs> that, that was a very generous uh, remark you made um, so to be honest um, i am not qualified to comment on the qualities that are required in civil servant because the uh, upsc uh, they have a personality test for this very purpose so i believe uh, they are much more qualified and much more experienced to pass a judgment i can uh, of course speak on what uh, it takes to be a good aspirant but i think the biggest um, um, the quality that a good aspirant should have is like you said um, it is a marathon and for marathon uh, more than speed you need endurance and you need uh, perseverance mm. so since it is a very long process that the exam itself takes one year uh, since uh, you will be giving the prelims in june the result will come out in next year's uh, probably may so the exam takes one year and that before that you have to prepare at least one year if not more so for at least 2 3 years you are continuously studying and uh, if you don't have perseverance then this is not possible so that patience and the perseverance is that it just takes one year mm. uh, you cannot give up study for 10 hours one day and say tomorrow okay i will take a rest because i studied 20 uh, 10 hours yesterday so that is not best you study for 3 hours but you study every day that mm. is i think the biggest takeaway thank you so much i that perseverance and endurance that makes you to become a civil servant tuna ankuri na hai rekha thokhale der hat inti hi hi wehi aman ar hi pen kha civil servant in khat sang thai na san ati ka sanga thank you so much ankur your valuable time you have given us i think your advice these are very very valuable which we cannot buy and in fact today in spite of your big pg schedule you have managed and i really thank from the bottom of my heart I, just one of my uh, Oh, just uh, my friend wanted to say something. 
before you end. But I will. I need to speak to your father again. Ankur, you will not be able to. Ankur, you will not be able to go now. It's a humble request. Uh, please, because a few of the students they have just sent one two questions. Um, All right. The question is: Is it really necessary to take coaching class? If uh, is okay. it really necessary to take a coaching class? Yes. Okay. So uh, see, me personally, I did not uh, take coaching. I only uh, did mock interviews. But again, I will not go to the extent of saying that it is not necessary because uh, either the guidance, the initial guidance. Uh, the coaching industry, the coaching classes will give you a very good initial guidance. And that part, of course, I uh, was fortunate to have it at home and uh, with my interactions. But uh, that said, uh, yes, going to a coaching class will definitely they will tell you exactly how to study. But the studying you have to do yourself. That okay. no one will be able to help you. Hmm. Thank you so much. That's very very important. Coaching class in your teacher, that can academic and not just key. Na tay masan ko si closing class na yao nom nem maatike. See uh, mm. what we experience, Angkur. Uh, so many experience we have come across. Like student, they come here in Delhi, they go for coaching, and then they are frustrated. Lots of materials in the market in the coaching class, and even uh, provided by uh, this uh, like other experience. So you have not taken coaching class. To ni Angkuri coaching class lo lo ke abing a self study with proper Uh, do you have any guidance, Ankur? Any guidance? Right. So uh, there is a saying in our community that you know your ultimate goal is to be a collector and not a notes collector. So mm-hmm. especially if you are in Delhi, you go to those places, you will find the you know it's like a fish market. Everyone is selling at least hundred notes of the same subject. Yes. But. If you plan to do serious self study, especially, you have to stick to only one or two sources. It, it is better to read the one source ten times, ten sources once. It is very attractive to buy, you know, a new magazine or a new uh, book, but it is always um, essential and is always nice to read one book ten times rather than ten books once. Thank you so much. And one more question. The question will be so fast. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, the question is: Do we really need to attend online preliminary mock test? Do we need to attend mock test? All right. Uh, yes, in preliminary in preliminary uh, stage, um, it is very essential that you develop the right skills to, like I said, eliminate questions, and that will only come uh, if you solve, uh, you know, these test papers in a. You know, Simulated environment, but of course, in my opinion, I think the best, um, you know, what was a lighthouse in this thing are the previous UPSC question papers themselves. So okay. before you attempt the test uh, things, you should go through the previous UPSC question papers and see the kind of questions they ask. Mm-hmm. You will find that it is different from the one that is said in the mock uh, interview. They ask at the mock interviews, and you have to prepare according to what UPSC wants. Oh, that's really great. That's very very precious one again once more. Arhi ka ankur tarhi ka. Tune aaj jinga tiya prelims ka pek se hai. Previous year question and jo kashati ke ka. Ata tarhi ka do. Where le rang eri. Next question is uh, what is uh, the question is like uh, the role. What is the role of newspaper in prelims and mains? Will you please tell us the role of newspaper, the importance of newspaper. Yeah, newspaper uh, definitely it is essential because um, you know the current affairs is a very big part of the preparation, and of course you do have you know these online compilations. Many of these institutes they take out compilations which they have all the important news of the month. But um, until then, unless you read the newspaper, you will miss out the bigger picture. Like I can tell you what happened um, today in you know ten lines, but unless you actually Read in depth, then you will just know it from above. So maybe for others, just knowing it from above suffices. But in UPSC, you have to know it from deep. Uh, in preliminary and main specific, you have to write 200 words. So you can't just rely on two lines. Now. Right. Thank you so much. And the last question is: Today there are lots of 
information like from online i example inside ias vision ias ias baba and some other coaching center notes multiple sources are there so which particular source to handpick for upsc preparation which particular source to handpick for upsc preparation i think uh, all of them are doing an equally great job and uh, i do not want to mention any one okay but uh, you know they will see what are, what you like okay. you know some of some people might like it when the notes are very colorful so some institute might have very colorful notes with maps and diagrams so you can obviously go for what works for you oh thank you so much your questions are very short and very perfect ankur uh, you have been experience of pre pre preparing this uh, civil service last but not the least i would request you humbly request you uh, in future if we need any kind of suggestion or like this interaction i humbly beg you to allow us to interact with our students once again in case in our community if anybody clear prelims they might be confused what to do in that case we might come to you or else uh, again like today program in future we might have a session so I humbly request you to please do help our community once again if we invite you once again. So thank you so much Ankur Das and once more congratulate you from on be, on behalf of Com TV on behalf of Com Tribe Com community. So and you know you are the topper in the whole northeast this 2020-21 uh, this uh, pre, uh, UPSC examination. and then we are so happy when i come to know about you i was so much happy because i never knew you but my brother alien told me that he is no one he is our commissioner son so when i come to know that uh, we were so happy and then we are so glad today you give us lots of beautiful and lots of precious input so that the student will pick up intelligent student will pick up today and then i'm so sure that they will surely benefit it so thank you so much once again and now if we invite respected sir your father that would be more uh, good <laughs> if you ask your father yeah. to come to join thank us. you so much for thank you so much it was great interacting with you thank i can uh, just uh, the video for some time and i will just see it so i'll just call you yes. thank you aulen in pa come here uh, in kangwa kapul Uh, live la comment no live la comment no i took home a live a comment no apa i can hold sik but no ka ko mi puya ina nga kana jo viewers ai nga ni ri nom jo tuninga man katam ta ke yar chu atuna stony no mai rio ama hi angkur da si civil service exam tuna jo 50 second ring top par ke ama hi not is asik no ana i 74 sit com general ama hi is confirm yo ke amala ama ye first option a pe ki meghalaya assam kader ke ana ama ias you confirm ka sang yo very humble hai ke an pa sa kana apa hi tun interview aba na question kai dar si ama hi lei lut ma ama hi mi ka chatak hai mi ka cham tak hai kana mi humble ka sang hai ke apa hi inspector ali ka lut a kana assistant commissioner retired ka sang ke kum khat kum niai pha yo man ret me มีกระปูไล่ผ่ามองนิงอนาอมานีเฮอ่ากาฮีนอมเปียนกะจูอกัจจินเฮเรกะตุนตะคันนุมินิสเตอร์เมกะลายาเกเวอร์เมนต์ม
kavan hum mehr ke atun ka tum office line tum ke hoyar ga mai hong thei loke amanom amalong hi her miss ka to yo tia achang enom aban lam ka wasi khana aini ifs esther lerton ki mom kavan hum mehr ke ta ka tun chinyar ga nei hong thei mak thank you all the viewers com tv com people com community and other community who are watching live today this is the very special moment and blessing for every community who can understand english at the same time uh, we are very blessed to have this uncle family to be a part of com tv family and i do hope we will be lot i do hope so many students will benefited with this session today